Hey, what's up, and welcome to my corner of the internet. Hey, so check this out. I'm gonna just keep it a fuck with y'all. Everybody owes Black Clover an apology. That's it, that's the video. Very often, there are anime that become the next. Next, as in the anime that has the chance to stand out or replace the main stage that are now ended stories or now in their final season. Unless you're One Piece and you go on forever. But anyway, these next are shows that we immediately know are incredible. Immediately we know that they hold some sort of potential to be the great multi-year or more than 12 episode banger that will create a community of annoying soldiers that will flock to other communities and commit anime combat that is based in the most simplest but very heralding conversation of anime debate. Hunter Hunter Sankan demo mite denaoshite kina baba domo. In recent memory, there is not one anime that has not been the most polarizing within the next category than Black Clover. But first, let's get to know Black Clover a little bit better. Written by Tabata Yuki, it is an action fantasy shonen. It goes into that category of meteoric shonen, some of the most commonplace shonens, and I think it started off very average, I'll give it that, but the memes and all the hate for Black Clover was kind of annoying because I seem to remember some of the most loved shonen having some of the most annoying pieces of their personality. Naruto couldn't stop saying believe it, Ichigo kept losing fights, and Luffy had no character development, and all these things seem to be ignored, but Black Clover seems to hold on to all these pieces, and I've never seen so many people write off an anime more than Black Clover. <laughs> And the reason why I believe that everyone owes Black Clover an apology is because I think Black Clover, out of all the new anime that came out, be it between My Hero Academia, be it between Attack on Titan, be it between Jujutsu Kaisen, I think Black Clover stayed true to the formula, but was able to carve out the moments that make a shonen a great shonen. And I believe that Black Clover has done it with some of their chapters, and it was the chapters that didn't necessarily involve the main character. And obviously, if you're up to date on the manga, spoiler alert. This is one of the scenes that really changed my mind on Black Clover. Of course, I didn't necessarily hate it or dislike it. I just thought it was a little average, but these chapters, these last three months of chapters have really changed my mind on Black Clover. These chapters have done what magic can be done in Shonen. Shonen is about hope. Shonen is about the underdog winning. Shonen is about boys going against or better, a better example, David and Goliath. Shonen is based in this sort of ideal and very often it's hard to pull off because it's been done so often, but Black Clover was able to do it in this moment and Black Clover has stayed the course of its story. It very sometimes can be predictable, but at other moments, it is able to shine through and showcase the why shonen is one of the most beloved genres. <laughs> and Black Clover very much so got hate because my Hero Academia in the beginning was very very interesting and I'm gonna make a video about some of the problems about My Hero Academia 
but once again it's not that type of video we're going to talk about black clover here i think right now black clover is the average anime that is doing certain aspects exceptionally and during this current arc within the manga it is creating these moments that are really staying with me these moments where I feel like this anime is tugging at the heartstrings. I care about the characters. I care about the decisions within the fights. I care about the backstory. I care about what happens next. And I'm so enthused within this anime. It's, it's, it was very average, but now there's so many unexpected things. There's so many unexpected wins, fights. It's just, there's certain great things that Black Clover is currently doing. And I feel like Black Clover is now just as exciting or if not more exciting than some of these other animes. I also think Black Clover suffered from a lot of its competition like Kimetsu no Yaiba really took the world by storm and I think it really did not distinguish itself because I saw some people comparing it to fairy tale in some sort of aspects. I saw people saying all types of different things but I kind of ignored it. I was just like whatever because here's the thing. If I read the manga I'm pretty much in the community but I try to like mind my business i'm just like i read the manga i enjoy it i enjoy just appreciating what this story has to offer me and black clover did that for me i think black clover holds a lot of great aspects i love the transformation of asta i love that he's not necessarily a normal shonen protagonist at least design wise i think he's actually pretty different i like that he went from skinny to like super thick and like muscular that's new how many shonen characters were actually thick and muscular like luffy just now got muscular and uh Toriko was one of the few ones that actually got muscular like there's very few aspects that i think were subtle changes to black clover i love that some of the fights that happen within this are interesting i love that there's moments of no hope there's moments of no despair and within this arc i'm surprised how this is going i i think quite possibly we could see something where we are all genuinely surprised the same way attack on titan flipped everyone on their head with how aaron turned out to be <laughs> I think one thing I really enjoyed about Black Clover is Asta is written very differently than a normal shonen protagonist because if you compare him to so many others he's not inherently special he's not comparatively special when you think about you know and then all these great surprises that happening for his rival and asta still asta and that's genuinely interesting because he has to climb the hill while others get to take the elevator and of course that's a very underdog story but i enjoy the process of a challenge and it doesn't feel like necessarily that asta always has this power scaling that seems to always escape him it feels like he's always at the first step but when he makes a step, he's moving in the right direction. And no matter if he wins or loses, each step comes with growth, education, a change in demeanor, just changes in technique and so many different aspects that make him a growing and interesting shonen protagonist. And I feel like... <laughs> the side characters within black clover really steal the show and it doesn't steal the show the way that it does in my hero academia where i'm more interested in everyone else except for deku very often even though deku is having a little bit of a resurgence of interest for me black clover is a show that supports itself very well it, it does things good and it can be average but right now it's creating an arc that 
is going up in history books for me at least it's going to be one of those arcs where i really felt something it was it has one of those moments where this is why i watch anime and this is why i love it and this is part of some of the reasons why i feel like so many people owe black clover a chance so many people owe black clover more than just that first glance because it does get good later on it gets pretty incredible later on <laughs> I wanted to make this video a little bit earlier because that scene that I'm particularly talking about and that I'm showing, that scene, I, I'm going to do an entire video about that scene because that one scene was orchestrated so beautifully that it is unbelievable how they made this fight believable and satisfying at the same exact time because a side character beats a main plot point villain and i think that is incredible there's not a lot of shows that are able to make side characters have interesting fights i don't i haven't seen it since what is the uh i haven't seen it since yu yu haka show where i root for a side character and their journey and their power struggles it's been a very long time since i've been interested in such a thing and i'm barring some of the best side characters obviously there's naruto obviously there's one piece and obviously there's some of these other great animes but the last time i really like cared and it was like an addition to the show it's been a very long time and my hero does it but once again i think some of the side characters of my hero overpower our protagonist so yeah that's my video on black clover i think it deserves an apology i get that it can be very average i do see a lot of the disadvantages with the story but i think this recent arc is a game changer i think this recent arc deserves a lot more attention i think a lot more people should talk about these chapters i feel like a lot more people should look back and change their takes on black clover after at least experiencing this growth and this progression within an anime because it's not very often a lot of anime improve as they get better and i'm gonna start talking about some of the big anime because i have some takes that might get me in trouble might not but who knows and who cares regardless i well how do you feel Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you want to apologize to Asta, to Black Clover, to the writer, to the author, to the studio. You know, you know the vibes. Do whatever. Anyway, have a great day and happy new year.